Welcome back to the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup here in Los Angeles. I'm Radical Russ, and we are we are so happy to have Michael back with us. We interviewed Michael yesterday. He's working, uh, promoting the election of Ron Paul for president. He came on to do the interview yesterday, and being on wireless like we are, uh, we lost the signal. And uh, we were recording the interview, wanted to make sure we had the video, and we lost the signal. I didn't want that to happen, so... He was so gracious to come back here again and do another interview. So thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for uh, having me back for us. Okay, so let me get this up close to you because with the no background noise, you have a little problem there. All right. There we go. But uh, all right, so what? give us the name of your organization again. Uh, and, and you had the card. It was a Blue Republican card that we had talked to. See. Yeah, uh, you know, we're working uh, with an organization called uh, bluerepublican.org. Uh, you know, it's for a lot of people who uh, might be a little... Uh, you know, hesitant about signing up to uh, vote as a Republican in uh, certain states like California, which is a closed primary process. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to vote for Ron Paul for the primary, you have to register as a Republican. And uh, I can tell you, like uh, many other people, you know, I'm a registered, I was registered independent. Uh, as soon as the primary is open or over, I'm going to go back to being an independent. So it's just to, just to get Ron Paul. So it's a procedural move because in a lot of these states, uh, you have to be a Republican to vote in a Republican primary. Let's... Uh, switch for registration to Republican, vote for Ron Paul to send the message that the drug war needs to end because he's strong on that message, right? He's always been a supporter of normal. Uh, and, and then, so let's say this turns out the way you want it and he actually gets the nomination. Is the idea then to go forward with uh, support of Ron Paul in the general? Is it, it's not just a primary uh, thing. It's also for the general? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So there's a lot of voters out there who would, you know, you say blue Republican and, and they may have been uh, Obama supporters in 2008, and, and fair disclosure, I was. I campaigned for Obama. I did a lot of speaking games and such. Uh, that might be hesitant to want to join this idea, even as strongly as they hate the drug war, and maybe even they like some of uh, Ron Paul's other policies, say the, the wars, you know, foreign policy wise, you know, get out of Afghanistan, Iraq, Absolutely. whatever. Uh, they might agree on some other issues as well, but they would also then they would point to, oh, but Ron Paul on X, Y, or Z issue, you know, abortion or states' rights or however they want to phrase it, is, is bad on this issue, and that turns me off from voting. How do you convince them that that shouldn't be a, there shouldn't be a litmus test, it shouldn't be the, the, the sole qualification that they should throw their support behind Ron Paul? You know, uh, one of the big things that we've seen in uh, a pattern of politicians over the you know past uh, 16 years or so, and um, you know, with one of the candidates who's currently uh, running for office, um, they're being uh, supported by a lot of big bankers, oh, yeah. a lot of big backers. So it's like you know, is the power of the people with us, or you know, is the power in uh, corporate bankers are kind of controlling everything? So you know, one of the things I do like to say, and it's something I'm very proud of. Otherwise, I would.